Hi, this is Bill Parliament from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com, and this is episode 17 of the X's and O's of SEO. And today, I'm going to talk to you about the seven most important free SEO tools that I personally use in my business and how you can use them in your business to secure a top spot on Google. When you think about it, SEO is pretty simple. All you need to do is beat out the top 10 websites for whatever keyword or keyword phrase you're going after. So how do you do that? Well, one of the ways that you can do that is by using free SEO tools to kind of um, re-engineer those top 10 websites and figure out what they're doing and what they've done to secure that top spot. And once you know this information, you can then plan your SEO game plan. So uh, let's talk about some of the free SEO tools that I use in my business and how you can use them in yours. So uh, the first tool that I absolutely love and use the most is the Google Keyword Tool. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, SEO starts with keyword research. If you don't know what words or phrases your buyers and prospects are searching for online, how do you know how to optimize your website? So the free Google Keyword Tool is by far my favorite tool. Now, there are several reasons for this. First, the Google Keyword Tool will give you an estimated search volume for a particular keyword. So let's say your keyword is red widgets. So type in red widgets into the Google Keyword Tool and it will give you the estimated monthly search volume for that keyword. Another reason that I love uh, the Google Keyword Tool is it will give you suggested keywords and keyword phrases to use that maybe you didn't think of. So let's say you use uh, red widgets as your keyword. It'll show you suggested keywords to red widgets, maybe something like organic red widgets, natural red widgets, cheap red widgets, whatever it may be. It will give you a, a suggested keyword terms, usually up to around 100 suggested keyword terms, and the estimated search volume for each one of those keywords. So you can use those keywords to uh, further build out your site and optimize your site. Um, the third thing that I love about the free Google Keyword Tool is it will allow you to do keyword research by URL. Now what do I mean by that? Well, you can actually type in the URL of your website and Google will give you suggested or related keywords it feels your site is related to. So. Um, if you type in your URL and it's about red widgets, you're probably gonna see some related search terms to red widgets. Um, you may find some golden nuggets in there, search phrases with a lot of search volume that maybe you didn't think of that you can, again, grab that keyword, optimize it on your website, and start getting traffic for that keyword. On the flip side, it will also tell you if your, if your site is properly optimized because if your site is optimized for red widgets and then all of a sudden you get a bunch of keywords for, say, uh, t-shirts, then obviously your website is not optimized properly. So the keywords um, that are being suggested by Google's keyword tool from the URL checker should pretty much match up to what your website's all about. So that's the uh, Google keyword tool. Now the next two SEO tools could kind of be, I don't know, 2A, 2B, whatever. Um, it, they're web browsers. So the first web browser I'm going to talk about is the Mozilla Firefox web browser, uh, and then the second is the Google Chrome web browser. Now the reason that I use web browsers as SEO tools is because there are a ton of great extensions or plugins that you can download, um, install on your web browser toolbar to analyze websites and web pages. So um, that's the reason that I, I use different web browsers um, for SEO uh, recon stuff. So um, I absolutely used to love Mozilla Firefox, and I'll be honest with you, it's fallen down in, in, in favor for me. Um, it gets hung up, it freezes a lot. Um, there are still a ton of great extensions. Um, some of the extensions that you can use for the Firefox are the um, SEO Quake. There's the SEO, uh, the Firebug that allows you to analyze the code on a page. Um, why it'll also do some things to help measure site load times and things like that. So there are a ton of great extensions, free extensions for Firefox, but 
I don't know, the most recent update is Firefox 6, and I'm just not impressed with it, but try it out for yourself. So what I've been doing is I've actually been, I've switched over to using Google Chrome more often, um, and I absolutely love Google Chrome. It's fast, it's easy to use, um, so you might want to give Google Chrome um, a, a try. So. I just talked about plugins and extensions for these web browsers. I'm going to I'm going to share with you two of my favorite extensions that I always use on my web browser, and that's the SEO Moz Toolbar plugin and the SEO for Chrome Toolbar plugin. So the SEO Moz Toolbar plugin, the reason that I absolutely love this is um, because it gives you information on web pages. It will show you uh, the page authority of a particular website and the domain authority for a particular website. So let's get back to where I was talking about all you need to do is beat out the top 10 websites for whatever keyword or keyword phrase um, you're going for. So if you use the SEO Moz toolbar plugin and you do a Google search for red widgets, the top 10 sites will pop up for red widgets. Using this toolbar, it will show you the page authority for that ranking page and the overall domain authority uh, for that page. And remember, page authority basically means how many backlinks are coming into that page and domain authority means how many backlinks are coming in overall to that to that page. So um, let's say there's a the top site uh, for red widgets has a page authority of 45. I'm just saying. Then you can look at your web page. Let's say if your web page has a page authority of 40, you know that you need to build enough backlinks to that website in order to boost up that page authority. The other thing that the um, toolbar will show is total link. So you can see that the top spot for red widgets has a page authority of 45 and they have a thousand backlinks coming into that site from 300 different domains. So now that gives you an idea, well if they have a thousand backlinks from 300 different domains, then that means I'm probably going to need, I don't know, 1500 links coming into this page from four or five hundred different websites in order to bump me up my page authority so I can overtake uh, that website. It's a great tool if you're trying to figure out why is this website outranking mine? I seem to be doing everything right and I can't bump it off. Well, download this extension and it'll give you a pretty good understanding of why um, that's happening. The second extension that I'm going to recommend, by the way, the SEO Moz Toolbar plugin um, does work with Firefox. It's not updated for the most recent Firefox, so double check that. Um, to get the SEO Moz Toolbar plugin, all you need to do is do a Google search for SEO Moz uh, toolbar plugin and you can download it right from their site. Um, SEO Moz toolbar plugin does work with the most recent version of Chrome, so that's why I'm using it. Just I just wanted to clarify that. So the the next extension is the SEO for Chrome toolbar plugin. Now this is awesome because you get a little icon at the top of your uh, web browser that when you're on a web page, you click that little icon and it gives you a ton of information about that web page. It'll give you the Google cache date, it'll give you how many links Yahoo is showing, how many links Google is showing, gives you a ton of useful information that you can use to then go back and better optimize your website to knock out that uh, the websites that are outranking yours and it'll give you a ton of great information on your website so you can figure out how you need to optimize better. So the sixth tool that I use that's totally free is Google Analytics. We talked about this the other day. You have to be able to measure and track your results. If you don't know what's working and what's not, you don't know how to fix it. So your Google Analytics will tell you your search volume. Or you, do you get a sudden drop in your search volume? It'll show you what keywords are working, um, what keywords are bringing uh, traffic to your site. Are your social media sites and other sites that you're building, your feeder sites, are you getting traffic from those? So you need to be able to track what you're doing here for SEO in order to improve upon it. And then finally, Google Webmaster Tools. Awesome, awesome tool that you absolutely have to use. Again, totally free. Um, it's really gotten cool with Google Webmaster Tools because they've added the Google Plus um, ranking factors. It will actually show you whether or not 
the Google Pluses of your website, are they affecting the rankings of your website and the traffic that you're getting to your website? Um, Google Webmaster Tools also shows you rankings in, this, in the search engine results, and it will show you click-through rates. So what do I mean by that? Let's go back to Red Widgets. Let's say uh, Google Webmaster Tool has you number four for Red Widgets on Google. And let's say it shows up uh, in the search results a thousand times and 500 people click on your link. Well, that shows you that you have a 50% click-through rate. So that means that people really like your, your site in the search engine results pages and are clicking on it and going through to your site. So uh, again, that's just one of the... Uh, nuances of Google Webmaster Tools. There's a ton of other things. It'll check for HTML errors that would affect uh, SEO. It'll uh, check for block pages. So if the Google bot can't get to certain pages, just a ton of great information. And all of this doesn't cost one thin dime. So you can't go wrong. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the seven best free SEO tools out there. Um, if you have any questions or comments or if you have any other free SEO tools that you absolutely love and you want to share with everyone else, please leave your comments in the comment box below this post. Again, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in future episodes, leave those as well. And this is Bill Parliament saying, now go dominate Google.